KII, the term on the diagonal. Well, that turns out to be these, uh, exactly the statement that the, the entropy of X1 through Xn is less than the sum of the H of Xi's. The entropy of a collection of experiments is less than the sum of the entropies. This can be proved in one line using Jensen's inequality. And then when you approve this, you plug in the Gaussian distribution. You say these are multivariate Gaussian with this covariance matrix, and you get this as an immediate consequence. So there is something that had a long, arduous proof before, by induction and so on, which is just proved immediately from Jensen's inequality and identification of the, with the Gaussian distribution. And so it can be proved in two lines. And there are dozens of other inequalities that also follow. Computer science. Uh, you have Makes sense. You say the intrinsic complexity or something is the length of the shortest program that describes it. Physics. Uh, by the way, let me tell you about the future of information theory. One future is network information theory. We have wireless technology. Everything's connected to everything. Everybody's broadcasting and everybody's receiving multiple inputs. Some people, some uh, stations are just relaying information. So, what is the capacity or the trade-off of communication rates that can be achieved in a network in the presence of interference and noise? Uh, we know a lot of very interesting results in this area, but uh, there isn't a complete theory yet. So that's one of the futures of information theory. Uh, the other one will be quantum information. What is the nature of the dependence? of objects in our physical universe. Cause and effect, second law of thermodynamics, how can time symmetric laws lead to uh, asymmetric degeneration of information, and so on. So the, one of the futures will be to identify the quantum theoretic aspects of information theory. And when we understand the physical connection a little better, we'll be able to ask some new questions and get some probably old answers. And so for physics, we have AEP, uh, and thermo, and the H dot theorem. Boltzmann proved in 1890-something uh, that H dot is uh, non-negative, which is the rate of increase of entropy is positive. And it was under certain assumptions. But it led to atomic uh, people believing in atoms because it was all based on counting uh, the number of states of the system that could be diminished as time went on. Okay. 
uh, biology. I have to put that in. It's genetic DNA. You're, the code for who you are, who we are, is in every one of us. And uh, But I don't have anything to say about it. So I won't be saying anything. You know, but I have the same questions you do, but no uh, particular answers. Uh, Cryptography. Uh, it turns out that H and C are critical. Um, in general, when you encode something, encrypt it, you have a key. And then you do the encryption and you give somebody the encrypted text. Well, there's how much of the encrypted text do you need to look at in order to find what the key is? So that's a question that can be answered uh, using these notions in information theory. In fact, Shannon's work. In 1948, you know, he wrote the paper on uh, communication that introduced information theory full-blown as a subject in communication theory. And uh, he also wrote a paper at the same time on cryptography using the same ideas, but it's a less no well-known paper. All right, algebra. Well, I Coding theory. Yes, the intersection. Algebraic coding theory. Where you take your bits of information and you say, you know, I think when I transmit this, there'll be some mistakes. Some ones will turn into zeros and so on. So I'm going to add some check bits. Like, the mod to some of the bits on various things. I do certain algebraic uh, computations on that and add some check bits. And then when I get the bit string, I'll be able, I hope, uh, to recover the information bits. And there'll be a, on the homework, which we'll hand out on uh, Thursday. Uh, there'll be a problem on that. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> and uh, linguistics. The entropy of, of text is important. What are the most efficient descriptions? You know, is Spanish intrinsically uh, less efficient in expressing ideas than German? Well, one way to do it is to look at the lengths of the translations of, say, a, a novel into both. languages and compare that. Great. All right, now I'm going to zoom through some questions that have these as answers, uh, but now's the time for us to take about a three or four minute break, and I will hand out the questionnaire to people who don't have it. Oh. Ah, good, here we go. So, who needs the questionnaire? There you go. This goes around here.